Top Moves presents you, Anthony Joshua vs. Kubra Pule. Right here, he just needs to not stand right in front of him. Like Joshua, that just snapped the head back. Turns away. Does he want any more of the uppercut? Oh, another one. And Pulev is hurt. Pulev is rocked. He's on shaky leg. Go to the tail of the tape. Heavyweight Championship of the World. Anthony Joshua is 31. Pulev is 39. 6-6-2-41. Again, after the touch paper was lit, but the way in that boiled over. What happens next? The latest chapter in the rich heavyweight tapestry that sees Britain boast two world champions, Tyson Fury, to climb the evolution to experience this up close. A thousand pounds of lots of the chance. No longer the eerie atmosphere for this pre-Christmas cracker. champion Anthony Joshua defends his treasure against this well-schooled, vastly experienced and very proud Kubrat Pulev. Biggest night since Fury World and it's here in London. Yeah, you can see both guys pretty cagey here at the start. You can see a lot of respect there for each other. Joshua just trying to find that range, trying to check the body. Jabs so vital in the early exchanges. Pulev's got a good, thudding, solid jab, which he honed in a really good amateur career. Joshua, we know, has an excellent jab and a man by eight years. Joshua. Both will be looking for this sharp star. Yeah, both men really switched on here. You can see the concentration factor is top notch. Both guys very cagey here, trying to find their range, trying to establish the jab. There's one from Joshua back. And one from Pula. Both extremely seasoned in their different ways, but different routes. And they were meant to eat at the end of October 2017. Pulev pulled out 11 days before with an injured shoulder. But he said he, he's glad he did. He wanted to be 100% for this opportunity. He didn't want to just take the money. He's got that ambition. Good jab from Joshua. Yeah, good jab from Joshua. Lots of fainting going on there. Like I say, both men trying to lure the other one into making a mistake that they didn't capitalize on. No one wants to be the first person to lead up. Both guys very cagey here. Loose, languid, and as Matt says, cagey as they just size each other up. One mistake. Yeah, it's been a year out of the ring for Joshua Pulev. Very similar. I think they're just trying to find their distance, find their right range, get their timing. Nice left hook there from Pulev. Yep, yeah, trying to follow it up with a jab. One back from Joshua. Pulev trying to get centre ring. from Joshua partially blocked, that's better. Quiet opener. No now, the Joshua jab. Yeah, very cagey opener, both guys just having a look really. Trying to find their distance. A lot of fainting going on. Trying to see will the other guy make a mistake. Trying to get the read of each other. The team based up in Sheffield. Even Kaysen is with Kubrat Pula. Kaysen is well with Hattie Rackland, his brother, and various others in Vegas, but not hugely known. The big team from the 39 year old in fight number 30. It's the 25th for Anthony Joshua in the white trunks he loves, the red of Pulev and the red gloves, red and green, he'd be so honoured to take the world titles back to Bulgaria, not a real boxing nation, remember the likes of Martin Krastev, Toncho Toncho, but no one at heavyweight really, although his dad was a Bulgarian heavyweight champion, and he's doing this for him in his memory, he's fueled Pulev, He believes he can find the flaws, the vulnerability that he said he saw 
as the world saw against Andy Ruiz. Joshua with a terrific punch perfect performance executing the game plan to win the belts back. Very different now. New time for AJ. And look at this with a hand speed and Pulev just smiles. He's had a pretty good chin over the years although he did get dispatched by Vladimir Klitschko down several times when he lost his first world title challenge. The only defeat though for Pulev and Ruiz the only one for Joshua who tries to jab the body. Wild and Woody from Pulev. Yeah, Pulev trying to pressure Joshua with his feet, trying to put that front foot, trying to pressure Joshua with his presence, but Joshua controlling the distance with his jab. Just thinking whether to spring in Pulev. There's the jab again from Joshua. I think Pulev needs to come behind that jab. Single jabs are no good. He needs to double that jab up or try and time the jab of Joshua. Come over the top with his right hand. Strong, steady look to Pulev. Who's been so at ease this week. So confident that he's going to upset the odds. And inflict a second defeat for Joshua. Good jab to the body again, man. Yeah, nice jab to the body. He just keeps Pulev at distance. Pulev, you can see he's trying to edge closer. Keeps nudging forward with that front jab. Jab to the body's good. Keep him at that distance. Keep, control the distance. Control the range. Like I say, Pulev, he's trying to edge closer all the time. Good defense here from Pulev. Joshua unloading with both hands. Pulev tucking up and taking them all on the gloves. But he's trying to get closer. He keeps edging forward with that front foot. Pulev trying to pressure Joshua with his presence. But Joshua so far controlling distance behind that jab. Pretty good analyst he is, isn't he? Third round, WBA Super, IBF. WBO in the IBO World Heavyweight titles on the line. Not the WBC, of course, that's Tyson Fury's property. They'll be watching from home, I'm sure, and all the talk about whether they will meet in 2021. Joshua hasn't mentioned his name at all this week. Focus on Kubra Pulev, and we know about banana skins and all best laid plans. Dillian White downstairs commentating on the radio. He found out against Alexander Povekin a few weeks ago. Yeah, Joshua found out himself against Andy Ruiz in Madison Square Garden in New York, so I, think, I don't think he'll ever make that mistake again in his whole career, I think, for Pool Evan, and so he should be. That's right, all the talk was about Deontay Wilder then. Now the heavyweight world could twist and turn as Pool tries to club in a right hand. There's the respect between the pair. The judging of distance, crucial with this right hand from Joshua, who's coming, I think, at the best shape at 17 2 13. And Pula was the lightest he's been at 17 1, really in fantastic condition. Yeah, Pula looking for that lead left hook with Joshua. Oh, oh good right hand from Joshua in the third round, and Pula took that, but he was hurt. There's the smile, and there's the defiance from Kubrick. Joshua, and there's plenty of time in the round. But remember the third in the garden, and when Joshua knocked Ruiz down, he then came a cropper. Big look out from Joshua. Beautiful punches from Anthony Joshua and Pulev all at sea. And the referee goes in, and he's in the corner trapped. Just over 50 seconds to survive for Kunrat Pulev. But the timing and the power of Anthony Joshua. He timed it perfectly. I think he's going to get the knockout here. He's going to go for it. Pins the uppercut. Uppercut. Down goes Pulev. And he's in real trouble here. In London. His dreams of becoming a world heavyweight champion almost in tatters. Can he get through the round? He's a proud, tough, hard man. Vladimir Klitschko stopped him in five. Can Joshua do it quicker? I'm going to say, what 
the chin, Pula has shown to take that first right hand that he walked on to, never seen it coming. Joshua timed it, and since then landed several sweet, beautiful oh, uppercuts. Shots off to the bell as well, and still Pula stands. Joshua wouldn't have liked that. Massive round for the There, just slipped outside the jab. Beautiful one hand, bang on the chin. But Pula, what a chin he showed to, to, to take that shot, to, re to get his head to clear, and then Joshua... Yeah, we'll see it there, there's a knockdown. Such an important punch there, uppercut and often underused. Lennox Lewis was a fantastic exponent of it. There's the big white eyes from Anthony Joshua, as if to say, right, you know now everything you said yesterday. They're in a real firestorm here, the fourth round, Kubrat Pulev in dire straits in the third, but he survived. And as you said, showing a great chin. Maybe it's because he's in such terrific shape for this yeah. challenge. Yeah, definitely. When you're in great condition, you do recover better from the shots. And no doubt he is in fantastic shape, Pula, because he got nailed hard with a sweet right hand. Bang on the chin. Got nailed with a couple of spots, with several hard uppercuts as well. You know, and, and he, he, he shook it up. He got off the bar, came at a good time for him. We'll see now the minute respite in between rounds was enough to completely let his head clear. But fantastic start from Joshua. Sweet jabs as well from Anthony Joshua. Real thudding punches. Grace have done a lot behind the scenes in Sheffield. Much more sparring, rhythm work. Right hand from Pulev, who might just go for broke here, man. Yeah, good right hand there from Pulev. So say Joshua can't switch up, can't get too relaxed. He's got to stay concentrated. Got to make sure his own defenses are very sharp. Pulev still dangerous. Looks like his head's cleared as well, Pulev now. Joshua shaken by Dillian White down against Vladimir Klitschko, of course, got up to win that epic at the stadium and down four times in the disaster in the garden. So there is that air of vulnerability which adds to the excitement in every Joshua fight. Yeah, so, you know, it's important that he just gets back behind the jab, set things up again. Okay, Pulev looks like his head's cleared there, so let's get back behind the box and get, set things up behind the jab. Faints, keep your own head moving as well, don't get static. Pulev, you see, he's trying to edge closer. He's still trying to put the pressure on Joshua with his physical presence. He's forgotten the jab, Kubrat Pulev. I think he just wants to try and get close. And that distance that Joshua's... Providing and utilising with a spearing left has been good. Up close, Pula be wary with his own jabs because that's that's the shot he threw, which Joshua countered with the right hand over the top. So you know maybe Pula needs to use a few more feints before he jabs. He doesn't want to become predictable or readable with that jab. So he wants to maybe set that up, feints, jab the body, double up on the jab, makes it more difficult for someone to counter over the top. That's better from Pula, but a quieter round. Couldn't have been as dramatic as the third. What is there about the third round of Anthony Joshua fights? There again, see Joshua trying to counter over the top of the jab to the body, so Bull will be wary of that. Anthony Joshua, one of the best in a long time. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. It all started when he slipped outside the jab and landed the right hand over the top, and I couldn't believe Pulev didn't hit the deck. He took it so well. Then he unloaded with both hands, and the uppercut's always been a great punch for Anthony Joshua. See him landing here, sweet, bang on the chin. Like I say, really, really impressed with Pulev's durability, with his, with his ability to take a shot. Even though he went down there. Oh. Still an education for Anthony Joshua, had a short, fast, in Olympic gold, of course, in the summer of 2012. Kubrat Pula boxed at five world championships, won bronze in 2005, he won gold at the Europeans in Liverpool. Now these are very good technicians as well, but it's Anthony Joshua in the driving seat back in the capital. And after that tremendous third round, what can Kubrat Pulev do? He's still in this fight. He's still trying. He's got 14 knockouts on the slate. And he will believe that he can come back. This the round.
and then he got flattened by Vladimir Klitschko, but it was a gung-ho attack really that night. He said he was too green, too raw, and that he is in a much better place tonight. Joshua snapping the head back of Pulev. Doubling up, coming in behind it. Bringing a right hand, just the right hand. He was just out of range there, Pulev. So he landed the shot, but it was at the end of the punch. We see Pulev stepping in there, landing a nice one too. He landed a good left-right combination just after that as well. So Pulev started to open up more now, letting his hands go. Off his shoulder, hand because he's still breathing now. He's got wins over Derek Chisora, European title. He's won that a couple of times. And Huey Fury. What a victory this would be if he could somehow come back from that awful third round and turn the tables. Kubra Pulev. Dillian White knocked out by Alexander Povetkin in that upset. We've had the Tiafimo Lopez upset of Vasil Lomachenko. It's been, and you just never know with these heavyweights. Yeah, and especially under these different conditions. I know we have a crowd here tonight, but there has been no crowd up until tonight. And you know, that affects different fighters in different ways. And uh, as you mentioned there, the Lomachenko Lopez, that was, a, that was a huge upset. Joe Joyce as well, the other night, beating Daniel Dubois to win the British Commonwealth and the European title. He's going with his right hand, Pulev. Yeah, Pulev just trying to measure that. Here, Pulev. I think he's trying to faint the jab and look, look, to jump in with that lead left hook. Joshua trying to regain control with a wide stance and the timing. So many sparring partners he's down up in. Pulev doesn't care at all. Any reputation being the underdog. Doesn't seem to bother him, does it? No, he's only lost that one fight to Vladimir Klitschko. He's a mandatory challenger. He was a fantastic amateur, well travelled, there is shown tonight already what the fantastic chin he has. Not in the back of the head says the South African referee Dion, coming up to the last minute of the sixth round. It's becoming more physical, so that's what Pulev's trying to make it. Yeah, he really stepped in with that one too, then he really committed to it. Sometimes he can be a bit cagey, he's punching, he's not really committing because he doesn't want to walk into a counter. You know, Joshua will walk him onto that lovely right hand over the top of the jab. Try it there again, just fell short that time. But Pulev doesn't always want to commit, but he starts to commit more now. Yeah, just trying to knock him around a bit. Kubrat Pulev, remember, it was a temple shot that started the problems against Andy Ruiz. And he did also have 
one or two issues against Vladimir Klitschko, of course, and that's to sort of reset himself, Joshua. But what a heart and what class he showed on that epic night at Wembley Stadium. Yeah, Joshua just landed some good jabs here now, these last sort of 30 seconds or so. Yeah, moving well again, Joshua. That's what Robert McCracken and Angel Fernandez and Joby Clayton were wanting to do. Again, it's Yeah, nice movement there from AJ, just sliding out of the way of that right hand from Pulev. Just, yeah, just seeing it there again, just nice. Floyd Mayweather in attendance. You couldn't believe that when I told you, could you? <laughs> I thought you were joking, I thought well, if Floyd Mayweather was coming, we would have heard by now, but uh, yeah, I was surprised. What's next in this one? Anthony Joshua has got to be a long way in front. But it's only the halfway stage, WBA Super IBF, WBO World Heavyweight titles on the line. The white of AJ in fight number 25, 23 wins. Dubrak Pula looking for his 29th, the most meaningful victory throughout a career that goes back to 2009. Here comes Joshua again. He would just felt that this would be about the stage, the 7th, 8th, ninth, that Joshua might get to Pula. Willingness on Pulev to commit more in that last round. He was stepping into the shots. He was, before that, he's been in KJ, he's punching at Joshua, jabbing the body, fainting. He's, he's been a bit reluctant to commit, but in that last round, he was committing with the one two, he was committing with the lead left hook. Good jab. A nice jab to the body. Yeah, really nice that from Joshua. Wow, right hand, but again looking for the uppercut, and he's planting his feet now, and he's trying to up the ante again, but Pulev comes back with an uppercut of his own and just laughs it off. What a tough man, what a hard man this warrior from Bulgaria is. Yeah, Joshua really planted his feet and really dug those uppercuts in, but Pulev took them so well and kept firing back. Good jab. Stunning, spearing jab. At times he's been terrific tonight, Joshua, with his punch variety. But Pulev just won't go away. Yeah, I like the way he, sh he shot selection and paced himself. Yeah, he, he turned the screw there a little bit, put some shots together, planted his feet, realised that, no, no, Pulev's still solid, he's still in it, and he's backed up again. He hasn't overexerted himself. That's experience. Pulev. Fury was telling us that that was the danger. Right hand as well, trying to close that distance, yeah nice one too, if Pulev can get that bit closer with his feet, then when he does land that right hand it'll be at the right biting distance at the minute, like back then he landed that right hand but it was at the end of the punch and the sting had gone out of it, so Josh was doing well to keep the fight at this distance. Tyson Fury will be watching this with interest after that amazing win over Deontay Wilder. One of the great performances. Joshua's looking for a good one here. Let's get down to Randy, who's with Peter Fury. And just a very cagey, wait for the wait for the response. And just as we go down the stretch now, can you see an AJ stoppage? Yeah, yeah it, can, it can end at any moment, but like I said, he, he needs to just step on the gas because Pulev's there for the taking, really. Thanks, Peter. Fantastic to hear the thoughts of Peter Fury. Anthony Joshua, people wonder whether the aggressive old Anthony Joshua would be back. We've seen that tonight, we've also seen him mix it up with that lovely jab and the movement and Peter saying back to that, you know, double jab him because Team Joshua don't want that. Yeah, I think Joshua just needs to keep Pulev at that distance at the end of the jab, keep jabbing the... And mix the jab up a bit more variety with the jab, a few more feints, maybe feint the jab, hook off it, jab the body. Double up on the jab, don't become readable. And Sergio, just the right amount of boxing skill and menace and damage being done by Joshua. Joshua's one of the very few big fighters that loves throwing those uppercuts. But, but from Vladimir Klitschko to Kubrat Pulev, they land and when they land, it's good night.
Look, we saw in the Klitschko fight that Pulev had no answer for those left hooks. In this fight, no answer for the uppercut. Look at that. Even a big man getting an angle. Not only did he land the first uppercut, shifted to the right just to land it again. And Pulev tried to stay on his feet, but just could not. And yet, look, another uppercut, and that lands flush. And Joshua continues to punch. This is exactly what Anthony Joshua needed. He needed the knockout. He needed to answer questions. Did he answer his questions here? Part of chin of men. No question, Sergio. You're right. Look at that right hand. There is a highlight reel shot. That that is Lennox Lewis Hassan Rockman. Right no, that, there. That's that beautiful. That was the very end of Kubrat Pulev. You saw after that last knockdown, he was sort of walking around the ring in a daze. Credit him for getting to his feet. But that right hand just detonated him. Oh, chin. that's that's the coup de grace. Hey, right listen, there. Lennox Lewis or Tommy Hearn, the way that elbow snaps. Look at how the elbow snaps. He turns the wrist. Pow! That's full extension on that right hand. Doesn't wow. get more beautiful than that. Talk about Hearn is against Pepino Cuevas, one of the best right hands of all time. And that way, that just finished things as Joshua can strut away as a winner. And to your point, able to have an emphatic win that he can be proud of and take his confidence now. And good sportsmanship by both men at the end of that fight. Both got after it. And Joshua can take that confidence forward. <laughs> calls a halt to this contest the official time of the stoppage two minutes and 58 seconds of round number nine your winner by knockout and still the unified heavyweight champion of the world aj anthony joshua thanks for watching and remember to subscribe our channel